Hello everyone, my name is Michael, and Inferno Beyond the Seventh Circle is a fairly recent uh, dungeon crawler first-person RPG that I've had my eye on for a while. It has a very unique and exciting setting with a sort of creepy, grim, dark atmosphere to it that I really... that is just instantly something I'm all, all over. I've been uh, obsessed with this idea since childhood, probably because I saw a bunch of anime in the 80s and 90s that had this kind of apocalyptic tone to them where the entire earth was shattered and destroyed and only a tiny remnant of miserable humans are existing in uh, a barren and bastille environment, as they put it in the anime Bastard. And uh, yeah, so I want to check this out. Um, you could call this a blobber, I guess because it is first person, like say, wizardry or might and magic, but there's really no blob to speak of, you know? It's, so I, I don't know if I would I, I would call it a blob, because you're, you're actually just one character. You're one single dude, um, not a party, which is not what I'm as fond of. You know, I, I enjoy a single player game, but for these kinds of RPGs, I really do prefer having... Um, a team of people. I think that creates a little bit more um, excitement. I did not mean to press that. I think I pressed C to get um, my magic out, and I don't believe I have any magic at the moment, so I'm going to get out of there. Um, I did go through a little bit of the game. I uh, you know, but no more, you know, more than two or three minutes. This is the very beginning of the game. I created my character just to see if I can get this working. And I made this guy that has this cool axe over here. I have no armor. The only thing that I have um, uh, the, as sort of a, a, a goal or a, a quest right at this moment um, is to find people. I'm going to, I'm supposed to find other humans in this post-apocalyptic wasteland that I'm trying to get through. And I don't necessarily know how to do that. I don't know where to go. I don't know basically anything. As you'd probably see, I'm fiddling around with controls here. But anyway, let's just uh, try to find my way around here. And uh, I did fight one battle, but I'll, I'll wait until I get into another battle to talk about the battle system. It seems pretty neat. I wonder if I... Hmm. I guess I can't do anything about this. I do have an axe or something, but... I'm not really certain how I can use it. Let me just quickly look at the controls here. Uh, equip. Status. Attack. Rest. Defend. Let me take a look at my character sheet. There we go. And... It's odd that I would have to go through a loading screen to do that. But, whatever. I'm sorry about the clicking and clacking of the keys that everyone is going to hear, but I just, I can't quite do anything about that. I did pick, as you can see here, pole weapons to go along with, because, you know, I'm, I'm just a big fan of spears and halberds. I just think they're more interesting than the basic sword weapon. I think they're more of a soldier's weapon, necessarily, than a, uh, a sort of aristocratic warrior's weapon. So I get some blunt weapons, which include um, maces and so forth. Uh, I don't have any pole weapons, so that was obviously an issue. I really don't know how magic works. I, don't, I know very little about the game. But necromancy is always cool and seems amazing, so I went with that. And uh, white magic so I can heal myself. Uh, this game also has uh, something that I'm always excited about, which is uh, survival elements to it. So on my character sheet, um, uh, not, not on the screen, you can actually see that I have in just... I love the art, by the way. This is amazing. Just this loading screen is cool. And apparently I can't use a campfire if I am uh, if it is raining outside. But as you can see here, I have to worry about hydration, food, and sleep, which is just super amazing. I always like to do that because it adds a certain level 
of, oh, I apparently can chop down some trees and I got that uh, stick there to maybe make a torch or something. I think I only already searched these bones here. Hmm. Nah, again, not quite sure where I'm doing. I'm just stumbling around, but whatever. That's that's okay. And um, I am eventually, presumably, going to run out of food and water, so I'm going to have to be very careful about that. Ooh, but it looks like I just found people. This looks like a good sign that human beings are here. I wonder what the uh, politics of this strange future world are. If I'm uh, any character can cast spells, you don't have to unlock a spell to cast it. Just open the cast menu, write the magic formula, and press enter. I see. This makes me think that it's sort of like Arx Fatalis or Ultima Underworld, in that you have to like draw the magic symbol. Um, Input a, a four letters magic formula, then press enter. Uh, hmm. Presumably, I can learn magic somehow to do that. Okay. Oh, I pressed a letter, and oh, you actually type the letters in. You don't cast them with the. So, I don't know. Maybe. I was going to try Milwa which is a wizardry, wizardry spell, but never mind that. Um, hmm. White magic. And I'm pretty good with necromancy. Um, maybe I can make some undead friends, I don't know. Uh, but I, I assume we have to find spells first, which and I don't really have any, so I'm just going to keep looking around. The character creation was pretty interesting, because you could create some background for the character, and some extra abilities that they have based on their uh, their their background. Stamina has a fundamental, foundamental. Uh, I, I think it's supposed to be fundamental. The uh, the guy that made this his name sounds Italian, so I, I don't think English is his native uh, tongue. But anyway, uh, fundamental role in combat. Remember to alternate attacks and rest slash defenses to avoid remaining without stamina and suffer continuous attacks from the enemy. That I really like because. Um, it's been theorized that no one can engage, even the fittest, toughest person on Earth cannot engage in vigorous melee combat for more than 10 to 15 minutes without needing a break. So that's like, you know, a, a really, not just a regular person, but like a tough, built, well-trained, highly skilled uh, Navy SEAL probably could not engage in swinging a sword or an axe against an enemy and, and being hit and dodging for more than a quarter of an hour without needing to take a break and have, have a drink of water and relax. Um, you, you can't just go for hours and hours and hours while uh, doing anything. I don't know if there's a search... Oh dear. I was about to say I don't know if there's a search key, but... Um, hmm. Okay, we're in combat now. And uh, something that I like about the combat is that you actually have, you can see over here, there's a distance between you and the enemy, which reminds me a heck of a lot of um, the system in the Bard's Tale and Wasteland games back in the 80s, where you actually had to close distance between you in order to fight appropriately. I don't think I would hit him if I attack now, I think I would have to move forward don't know any spells. I'm not entirely certain what this is, these three things in your round order says there. Um, I don't know if I'm capturing the cursor right now, but I'm pointing to the round order section in the top left. And what I'm guessing is that it's who the order of, of turns that, get, that we can attack in. So does that mean I can go three times, maybe? One... Two. So I guess I still can't attack, or can I? Three. But I must be able to attack here, right? I don't think I can. I think I have to move forward. I don't know what charge means. But maybe... Okay, we'll see what happens. I assume he gets... Yeah, he gets to attack. And I guess I have to be directly next to him to attack. So let's see what that does. Yep. Did a quite a bit of damage, but I get to do three in a row. That's pretty darn amazing. Next to this rat monster. 
Um, yeah, there he is. Um, experience points and blood drops. Don't know what blood drops are. Don't know what they do. Don't ask me. I have no idea. Um, I'm figuring this out along... We're figuring this out together. Uh, okay, but that... Uh, let me see if I... Hmm. I don't think I have any... Items to equip. Modify. I don't know what this means next to here. Modifier. I gave myself a, a ton of strength, a little bit of intelligence and body, um, and only a tiny bit of speed, mind, and luck. Luck is usually a forget about it stat in these games anyway, but I, but maybe not. Maybe luck is super important for being able to hit things. I I, I don't really know, but I'm I'm, I'm eager to find out. I don't think I have any items other than this axe. You shard upgrade iron battle axe. Oh wait, here we go. No, I do have some food. Fruit food level and hydration level plus plus ten percent. And I do have some health medication. I did not notice that. So I can get vegetables, meat, fruit, and uh, maybe water is there. But okay, I'll keep exploring this. These ruins around here. I absolutely adore this aesthetic. And, you know, you could give me another game that had identical function and, and look to it, but it was in, like, a cheery, bright, happy, everything is magical and wonderful kind of looking world. Sort of like World of Warcraft. That That's one that I really dislike the style of. And I just, I can't get into it. I can't enjoy it. Um, and that's to say, absolutely, well, I shouldn't say can't enjoy it. There are some things like that I guess I do like, like the Heroes of Might and Magic series. But I prefer a brutal, ugly, grimdark world that just makes me... Ooh, I found an axe. Okay. Probably the same as my current axe. Can I... Let's see, damage... Well, it's actually slightly better. Okay, Iron Great Axe... Critical chance, amount of two hit, damage, weight. It weighs a lot more, though. And, yeah, okay. So I guess I'll use that for now. Um, and I, I just adore this gruesome, sad, miserable world that um, pe the, the, the characters inhabit, because I can immediately get more excited about it if the world is like this than if it's sort of like a brightly colored rainbow vomit of of color in front of me. Look for water, food, minerals, and other useful materials to survive. Use the mix and craft commands to create medicines and objects. Okay, mix and craft commands. Uh, I, I assume this is like a tutorial. Ooh, some rags. Uh, can I wear these rags? No, I cannot. Um, where... Darn it, I should have looked to see where those commands were. The mix and, um, the look at things command. Hmm, okay. Let's see, there's another box over here. Metal scraps, okay. And metal scraps. Now, as much as I love the, uh, the uh, survival game elements, something that I actually don't like is crafting, because I, it always seems to be so relentlessly complicated and almost made useless by the fact that you can always, you can almost always find something rather than simply crafting it. But I guess I'll have to, I'll have to get along with that somehow. Uh, you can see on the map here, there are actually little X's here and there. Those are things that we can interact with on the map. So like this is some sort of uh, plant uh, that was one of the skills we had to work out in character creation. Ooh, there's apparently there's money in the future of gold pieces. All right. I'm I'm kind of worried about what those red dots are. I'm kind of assuming those are enemies, but there are none around here, so I'm just going to leave it for now. Uh, where is this day one, dawn, overall map? Oh, I love this. It's like a little hand drawn map. Prison, palace, camp, barracks, citadel. They actually did this a little bit in uh, Silent Hill here and there, where they actually have the character look like when they can't find the map, they hand draw it. At least they did that in Silent Hill 3 at one point. I think that was a really neat uh, touch they did. So, um, 
I, I wonder if Silent Hill was any kind of a... Uh... Oh yeah, that's definitely a, a monster over there. I wonder if Silent Hill was any kind of a... Influence on here. I'm trying to look at that. Fa That's like a faceless figure, which is a very Silent Hilly kind of thing to do. It's pretty common now. Uh, it's not a faceless figure. It's a spider. Uh, I hope there's. I assume there's poison in this game, so I have to be careful. Um, but uh, it's just sort of like a generic, uh, shadowy monster figure, sort of representing us, noticing there's something going on down there. We can't quite tell what it is. A little bit like we would see in uh, the Persona games, and we attack the shadowy figure and find out what's actually going on. I assume if we have ranged weapons, we can attack from far away, and um, oops, we're attacking. We can attack from far away before the enemy gets up here. So I'm going to attack and attack. Ooh, I'm using a lot of stamina, and my health is not spectacular. Uh, how do I... Whoa, 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 no. That's not good. Oh, he got a bunch of attacks. Uh, let me try charge. No, no, no. Let me try rest. Okay, I did rest one round. And I can attack again. He's almost dead. I'm just gonna attack again. Even though I totally ran out of stamina, That's that, which is not good, but since he was gonna die that round anyway. And actually, I f better save the game. Because I have not done that in a little while. You get so distracted talking, I, I kind of forgot to, the, to do the same, uh, to do the save. I, I don't know why I'm so much more motivated in a game where uh, the world is already destroyed. You know, like, like in, you say, like, the Lord of the Rings, they're trying to save the world from being taken over by Sauron. But it's so much more exciting to me after the failure, you know, after the world has already been wrecked and ruined and... That's actually the kind of RPG game that I want to make in a way that I'm trying to currently design. Even though I have no means, really, to make it because I'm not a programmer, unfortunately. But I am writing and doing design work for it, at the very least. And it takes place in a world where the heroes have already failed. And it just feels a little bit more adult, in a way, to, to, uh, to do the battles after... You know, to have evil triumph and then have the good people be forced to react to it, which is probably a much more common event in reality than the good guys struggling to, to defeat evil and then somehow miraculously winning. It, it probably makes more sense to fail and lose to the evil guys and then, uh, you know, uh, resist them in whatever way you can. Okay, I'm going to try some health medicine. If Oh, there we go. Okay. I have 1,800 hit points. Oh, what's this? Laifu equals Fire Claw. Okay. Don't really know black magic. You can't cast that spell here. Okay. So I guess I can only cast that in combat. But is there any place I can write that down? Do I have a journal? I may have to actually bust out some pen and paper. Some enemies possess a special ability critter. Oh, never mind. That's gone. Um, let me take a look at the controls here. Exploration equipped, craft, camp, bag, mix. M is mix. Cast mode. All right, I'm gonna try mix, just to see if I can make anything. I think I gave myself some survival abilities, but I don't know if I just have to remember it or if I have to learn somehow. Oh no, it, it's, it's listed here. It's green herbs and red herbs, like in Resident Evil, more more uh, survival horror stuff here. Uh, it cures wounded feet. Okay. So I made that. Cures infection. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go look around here a little bit more. Still have not found any human survivors. Ooh, a pole weapon. Yes, I'm going to be equipping that. Nice. Don't know if it's one-handed or two. But, uh, whatever. 
think I can... Oh, I got a wooden stick. Maybe I have to make a campfire or something? My sleep is still at uh, 64, so I'm going to wait a little bit. I've found flint. Okay. So I can make some kind of... I guess I need to make a fire or something. You can use some metal scraps to create a lockpick. Open the craft menu to create it. Keep this door closed. Demons outside. The... Wait, mix was M. What was craft again? Let me take a look here. Um, craft is F. Alrighty then. Craft probably should be C, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. I guess cast was already taken up by that. Okay, um... A trap, lockpick, throwing knives, sling bullets, shurikens, throwing hammers, caltrips. I love caltrips. Ooh, heavy leg armor. Hide strips. Hmm. Okay, I will make a lockpick. And I think I will try to open this. Ready? No. Oh, shit. What was I supposed to... I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Fuck. Um, okay. Uh, let's take a look again. Kinda don't remember how to do this. I think they explained this in... No, I'm not ready. There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, now let's go back to craft and see if I can make some armor. No, I don't have the, uh... Either don't have the know-how... It looks like I have... Oh, no, I only have three hide strips. Okay, okay. All right, and there's another monster down here. But what was the name of that spell? I want to try that. At least, even though it's not my speciality. Leafu. Okay. Oh, written in spellbook. Where is my spellbook? Oh, the game is auto-saving, I just noticed at least, so that's something. Um, wood pieces? Okay. Ooh, another uh, crate. And it's a hammer. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure where I am. I think I got lost somewhere. Okay. Let me go back in here. Yeah, I went back out to the forest area. That's not good. Here? Was this where I wanted to go? No, it is not. I'm going to take a look at the... Uh... Was it this way? Yeah, it was this way. Okay, I see where I am now. So, Lifu. I'm gonna try that. Oh, did some magic damage there. That's good. Oop. I don't have much skill with uh, black magic, so... doubt I can really get much of a cast off for that. Uh, it's just attack. I kind of wish uh, there was like a graphic of the spear crashing forward to fight this guy. The monster design is really, really cool. This horrible monstrosity with guts being ripped out of it and uh, Hellraiser-like chains and uh, spears poking out of its back are really awesome. I think that the Souls games, uh, with the exception of Bloodborne, are not necessarily as horror-intensive as I would prefer them to be. I would really like them to be more grisly and hideous. Now, I better rest, because I missed the last couple of, um, attacks. Oop, ow. 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 How initiative works exactly is very confusing to me. I don't really know what's going on. Ooh. What is this 6% here? When this value reaches 100% you're seeing the adrenaline rush buff. Also, if you kill the enemy with full adrenaline, you activate the carnage mode to begin more blood drops. I'm noticing it's not allowing me to rest. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I was wondering what that arrow next to the thing there was, but I think it just recast 
the previous spell that I did without having to type it in. Okay, all right, I get it, I get it now. Okay, definitely not doing great on health here. I don't know yet whether um, resting, like camping, restores my health or not. So I'm going to have to be careful about that. And there's another enemy right next to this. Use enemy organs and herbs to create medicine. I guess that's kind of neat, you know, ripping out the enemy's guts to use as uh, some sort of tool, I guess. Uh, that's pretty neat. Okay, there's another monster here. And, you know, I'm going to try uh, Lifu again. Ooh, and I hit. That's nice. And I'll cast again. And I am out of uh, stuff. Maybe I should, maybe instead of moving forward, I should have just defended. I wonder if defense takes up stamina or if moving. Moving didn't look like it took stamina to me. Let me check my. Um, no, not Lifu. My character. Okay, so 1000 points is the next level. Okay. There doesn't seem to be set uh, character classes. Like, the, it's it's a typical modern game where you have a bunch of... Where you sort of uh, can go back and forth between a bunch of different class abilities. You're not locked into just being a mage or a thief or something like that. Which is alright, I guess. I guess they have to do that if you're just going to be one dude. You have found a pair of boots. Okay. And I will equip those. Nice. Alrighty. And I got some wooden sticks. And flint. 54% on sleep. I don't know if I should wait all the way until I'm at, like, close to zero. Or if I gradually get worse and worse as I go on, and if I want to fight against an enemy... I would want to be at 100%, and maybe that's why I'm hitting not as much as I would before. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Found some wood sticks. Good. And I have 21 gold pieces. Alrighty. That's nice. I also don't know if, you know, healing... Hopefully healing restores my magic. I mean, I'm not even sure about that. We'll have to see. Okay. And I think now... Oh, oh, oh! That was a secret. Did you see that? That I noticed... I looked there and noticed there's an item down there, and I was like, but there's a, a wall here. How do you get to it? And I just moved forward. I didn't need to click on anything. I just walked into the wall, and it was illusory. So, ooh, torso armor. That's very nice. I'm gonna put some of you on, sir. There we go. Okay. Don't know what that is. Oh, overburdened, too. Minus five speed. That's weird. Like, can I go the other side? No. Okay, no other secret walls. And... Plants and some beets, beasts have the ability to regenerate HP. Oh, boy. Uh, that's always an issue when, the, when the, the monsters can regenerate HP. It's always a lot less fun fighting them that way, but... Let's see. I checked everything over here, and I don't think I've been down this way... Yet. No, I haven't. If you have some woods and a flintstone, you can build a campfire. Rest at a campfire to fully recover HP and SP. Cook raw, raw meat and purify dirty water. Okay, um... My hydration level is only 46. I can get some more back with some fresh fruit. But I will wait a little bit on that. I guess I will fight this guy. See if I can get a Lifu off. Nope, not enough SP. Okay, um... Hmm, I can't defend right now. Maybe I can only rest if I'm not in direct melee contact, so I would have to move backward in order to do that. Because right now it says rest. 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 It still says rest. But now it says defense. No, it still says defense, not, uh, not rest. So maybe I'm only allowed to, allowed to rest. No, I can, I can rest now. That's weird. Don't know exactly how that's working out. 
Maybe I can only rest once before. No, I think I rest twice before. Okay, I'm gonna defend. Okay, that didn't take much. Uh, you didn't do much damage to me. Uh. Oop. Oop, I'm, I'm out of stamina completely. There we go. Not sure how these turns work, or, you know, I'm sure that an expert with the game. Oh god, there's another one. There's another one. Good. And he's gonna get close to me. Perfect. Can I back up? I cannot back up. Hmm. I can flee. I'll try attacking, but this may go badly. Close to dying. Um, I'm going to defend for the next two turns. There we go. Now I have a bunch of attacks. There we go. So that was pretty fun. Um, ooh, monster's brain collected. That's nice. I assume he dropped that treasure chest because I didn't see it before. So I am going to try... Wait, can I make a... Uh, wait... Um, there we go. Campfire kit. Right, and I will try to make this, or to safely rest. Uh, create a splint. Oh, you can have broken limbs. So they can get permanently, not permanently, but damage that will last beyond mere hit point regeneration. And I can't create anything right now, so I'm just going to rest, I guess. And I'm fully recovered. And I need to have something to numb. There we go. Not do much for me. Plus five to hit using melee weapons. Okay, I'll put that. Oh, that was the... That was not a shield on the other hand. That was a ring. Okay. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, boy. That's an ouchie. This is the one monster I fought at the very beginning, so I've seen these guys before, and it's a really cool, gruesome, hellhound-looking thing. It's very scary. Maybe I should have defended before. This guy doesn't seem as powerful as the rat guy. I'm going to defend here. Nope. I only got one attack that time. I will rest now. Attack and rest and attack. Only one more. This wolf guy seems like he should be tougher than that rat boy. It really does. Oh, I did basically no damage. I'm gonna try to defend and rest. There we go. I took a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. Um, no, it's not F, it's M. Okay, I can make health medicine with hearts. Uh, wait. There we go. Okay. I wonder what that yellow... Maybe it's yellow if it's a monster that's not that strong. That could be it. Okay. What do we have? Oh, no, I'm not ready. No! I didn't even know if I had a, a lockpick. Maybe I picked one up somewhere. Okay, I'll try another lockpick. Um, yeah. All right. Let's try this again. Okay, got it open. And it is another ring. Uh, this is plus two luck. I'll keep my other ring on, I think. There's something up here that I missed. Yeah, definitely something over here. Okay, some herbs. If I have to get monster brains to get uh, health potions, that's that's going to be difficult. Because I would have to get into combat. I have to weigh getting into more combat with getting health. Ooh, there's water over here, though. Okay, so there's a spider, and it can move very fast. There's a ton of things in a row. 
Maybe it can it's sort of like it's considered that it jumped me, maybe. What is this question mark? No, I guess I'm just gonna what was it? What is charge? I'm gonna try that. That just makes me like super powered for a while. Oh, this guy's a lot of health. I'm gonna defend. I wish I could check my. Uh, uh, what is it? My. Uh oh. Oh, I hope there's a. Um, can I run? Nope, it does not look like it. Ow, ow, ow. I hope there's an autosave nearby. Nope, it's not letting me run. I think it's just gonna kill me. Nope, it ran forward. Oh, I'm gonna die. We're gonna see a death here, I think. Unless I can flee. Nope, it's not letting me run away. This is a high-level monster. Jeez. It was much tougher than the other spiders I was fighting. Oh, where was the last save? I, I never can pay attention. Okay, um... Okay. I will load the autosave. Uh, huge weapons will reduce your initiative, but deal a ton of damage? Hmm. Ah, oh, this wasn't that far away, but it was before I opened this chest, which is a little annoying. But I'll check down here. Fruit. Very nice. I don't know how this fruit is still growing. The I forgot to mention the story, but the background of this game is that humanity... Uh, that some sort of portal to hell has opened up to merge the human realm with the demonic realm. And humanity is pretty much on the outs and going to be destroyed. And there's only a few hundred thousand people left on Earth and demons are slowly taking over. And I assume we have to stop that or just try to survive that process. But whatever it is, it's grim, dark, and uh, unpleasant. And I'm there for it. I'm all there for it. Okay, I might as well try this again. If it's just a luck ring. Nope. Oh, I managed to get it, even though I screwed up. Apparently you can mess up. And then, um... It doesn't really matter. You can just continue. You will just have lost time. It's not gonna end it if you screw up. I was worried about that. And... Okay, got some more carrots. And there is water over here, but it's not easy to get to with that spider guy there. I'm going to try to see if I can... Where's my spell book? Open bag, campcraft bag. Cast, equip, turn left, turn right. Repeat last spell. Hmm. It doesn't say where my spell book is. is. I want to access that, but it said it's, it was supposed to be recorded in that. Okay, that's just a list of what's gone on here. I think it's in my... No, I don't see where this... What was it? Leafu? That sounds like it. Okay, um... Okay, I'm attacked again, even though I was sort of at a diagonal there. Is that it, Lifu? Yes, it is, Lifu. Maybe I should try to use that spell on this guy, because my attacks were doing jack diddly. And I do have a fair amount of magic. Okay, there we go. Killed him with Lifu. Okay. Now, can I drink? Okay, I collect water, and it's brackish and dirty, so I cannot actually use it yet. Okay. So I'm near something called the Barracks, and if there are humans there at the Barracks, they might also be people who have weapons, which is, of course, something I'm interested in. If they can give me weapons and armor, if I hadn't found that wall, I would have been even in even more trouble fighting these enemies. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely on a diagonal on this. Um, 
and I was apparently able to uh, be attacked along that, which kind of is not great, but okay. Ow. Ouchie. Ow. I like that the monsters do move a little bit. That's, that's something that bothers me about some of the later uh, Japanese wizardries. They don't even animate the monsters, which is like... It feels like such a no-brainer to do that. Even Wizardry 6 did that. And they're just, they're, they just don't care at all. They just leave the... I mean, it's good art, but there's no animation even. Which kind of stinks. Okay. Am I near the barracks yet? Seems I'm getting closer. I don't know if there's any humans at the barracks, but... Or why I'm out here on my own. Which seems a little... A little dangerous to be doing that. Cannot make any health stuff. Okay. Okay, we're in another battle. Oh, this is a completely new enemy. Um, Delilah. Okay, the monster is like a demonic child with a whip. It's very creepy. Missed twice. A little bit of damage the other time, so I have three hits in a row. Four. Oops, I am uh, I'm out of stamina again. I gotta keep watching that. Um, I will defend, and maybe if I defend, I get uh, stamina back anyway. Okay, completely out of stamina again. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna defend, defend. It's gonna get two hits. Okay. Yeah, this this creature is still a lot easier than the spider I was fighting. That thing demolished me. Ouch! Ow! Okay, get some stamina back. Yes. Took a little bit of a risk there at the end, because I was I would have been out of stamina again if I'd uh, missed that one, and she was still there trying to kill me, but okay. More gold pieces and metal scraps. So, according to the world map, oh, I guess I can't reach the barracks here because the woods are in the way. Okay. I like this wood design. The, these woods look sort of creepy and spooky, scary skeletons woods around Halloween-ish. I like that. Um, craft a campfire. Hope this does not cause a problem. Okay, I purified the water, and it does not diminish. So I had three dirty water. Now I have three purified water. Uh, rest and recover. Okay. And I will have some water. And... Okay, there we go. Alright, time to go back out and fight. Do not have unlimited rests. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, I, right, I can chop down the fruit tree and get the, uh, the sticks to help make a fire. And I'm going to throw a manual save over here. You know, some may say it's inhibiting um, exploration to have a system where you are you need to eat and drink. Although most systems I've seen, they, they overload you with food and water anyway, so it doesn't ever really become a big deal. But with this game, I'm noticing it's going to become a big issue. Um, at least so far that I can see if I do not get food and water soon. I can't just keep resting after every battle. Because I'm going to get killed. Hmm. Where? There we go. Okay. You can craft and use traps to try to catch animals. You can only hunt while on the surface level. I guess there's some sort of... Um, underground hellish domain or something. Okay. Um, now how do I use that? I'm going to... Click to set a trap and wait for a prey. You can't hunt if there are enemies nearby. Okay, so I can. So it goes into another screen. Oh, and I got some raw meat. So maybe that's how I get... Wait, um... Health medicine, hearts, and herbs. So I got some raw meat, which is nice, that I can cook later and get health, I think. So maybe maybe I'm, I am going to be able to go out and get enough um, 
food, but I have to work for it. A little bit of damage there. And I like this deformed mantis-like creature that I'm seeing here. I'm noticing that casting magic does not use any stamina, which is pretty darn cool. Um, attack. Attack. That guy had almost no initiative. He just let me attack, like, ten times in a row. I, I feel like this is a game that you would really have to study over quite a long period of time to try to figure out um, exactly how all of the, the combat mechanics work. It's, it's very complicated to me. Okay, I'm underground now, and I assume... I thought maybe this might be a place where humans might be, and that we can, you know, chat and maybe... Be, you know, work with some sort of quest or something, maybe, but... I think this might just be some dismal, heinous dungeon-like place. And that, le that lever opened up this gate. I like the evil, eerie... Iron Gate there. Okay, what does this say? Survivors, the shelter is your only hope. Find us, we can help you. Maybe it's going to be a 28 Days Later situation where... Spoilers if you haven't seen this 20-plus-year-old movie, but... That, 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 in that game, they're trying to escape the zombie apocalypse and find sanctuary, but it's really just people who want to enslave and abuse them that they find. Okay, let's see if this, these monsters are the same as the ones above or if they're stronger. Oh boy, it's one of these again. And I don't have any magic, and there's a monster right behind me. Okay, well, this might be a reload. Ooh, 888 damage. That's pretty good. Why is this guy taking so much damage in that other spider I wasn't? Is it like the Morrowind thing, where I didn't have any stamina or something? I thought I had stamina when I was first fighting, but maybe I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna get my stamina back. Ooh. That guy took almost no damage. I'm gonna defend. Maybe this spider is just weirdly, randomly higher, much higher level or something. Okay. I mean, I'm doing decent damage, I guess. I guess a criticism someone might make is that it would draw out the fights more and more that you constantly have to rest, but... I'm, I'm not really seeing that game in this way. I, I really enjoy the resting component that makes you sort of stop and think about things before you continue. Did my mana go up for no reason? That was weird. I swear my mana, like, went... Oh. I clicked on a card and it said plus 2% reflexes? Is that my le- oh, that must be my level up. Okay, well, I'm going to get some strong. I love being heckin' strong. And I love being tough. And I don't know how many of these I have. Does it, does it say? Okay, three, apparently. But I don't know if it said somewhere if I had them. But uh, I'm glad I, I, I... I was thinking of leveling up before, but I just got distracted by so many other things that I totally forgot about leveling up, which is obviously not a good thing in the post-apocalyptic hellscape we live in. And I don't know if I was referencing the hellscape of the real world or the hellscape of uh, this game. Really, they're both hellscapes. You know, honestly, this is a more realistic take on life than um, than the sort of, like, gumdrops and fairyland kind of thing. I mean, some of these fantasy games, I swear they look like Candyland. They are so bright and shiny and fluffy, they hurt my eyes. Okay, Koofy... Cure Light Wounds. Now that's a good one. Cast. I think I assume I have to click. Oh, it lists. Well, what? Wait. Oh, Elemental Magic. This is my spell book, but I was looking under Black Magic. It's Elemental Magic. Okay. Koofy. Cure Light Wounds. That's very, very useful. It's got to be absolutely necessary. And I did get a little bit of. Um, Use metal scraps to upgrade your weapon. If you have an unwanted weapon, you can destroy it to recover metal scraps. Okay. I will destroy this. And this. And it's not letting me upgrade my spear. Hmm. 
Do I have to go to a specific place to upgrade the spear, or...? No, it didn't say anything about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of strange. It's not letting me click upgrade. I, apparently I need a hundred metal scraps, which is a lot. And metal scraps that I would get from this is... I don't know, I'm going to hang on to that one just, just in case. Four metal scraps. Okay, so it's going to be a while before I upgrade the weapon, but it's, it's good that they mentioned that so I can keep my eye on it. Or just forget about it, like I did with the leveling thing. That's possible too. Okay, another bladed weapon. Let's see which one of these is better. Oh, this is terrible. I'm going to destroy that. And I recovered some metal scraps, but it's not exactly a lot. I'm getting closer, though. I wonder if I'm going to have to, like, actually... This might be one of those games... I feel like an old man talking about this, if there's a young person watching this, but back in the day, it was not unusual for your secret walls in the games to mean, like, bouncing up against every single wall. Every single square. Out of thousands, eventually, in the entire game like that. In order to find secret areas. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Level 2. Nope. Oh, just barely made it. Okay, and I got some gold. Okay. No place to use gold yet, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, okay, let's go back down here. That was Curolite Wounds. It's nice of them to uh, have created with some kind of weird... Um, little notes to pass around. You'd think the demons would rip them off the walls, but maybe they don't even know what they are. Ooh, was that a shield? Oh no, that was a trap. Oh boy, that was a lot of HP. Wow. Can I disarm traps? Or something? Or do I just have to not walk on them? Hmm. Don't quite know what I'm going to have to do there. Ooh, another box. Gold. Good. I don't know what's a lot and what's a little gold. I, you know, maybe I'm getting, like, almost nothing. Okay, what's this? MC is Summon Skeleton. Okay, now I did specialize in some... Um, necromancy. Apparently I can only summon skeletons in combat, so I cannot do that right here. Okay. I don't think the notes are marked on the map as X's, though, so I just have to keep an eye out for them. Okay. In RPGs, sometimes you can get lost just looking at the mini-map, trying to orient yourself, and so you're no longer just even looking at the, um... I'm going to save here. I'm not looking at the actual screen. Which is unfortunate, because this is a good-looking game. I, I, I'm trying to remember if there was another game called The Seventh Circle that maybe the... the, the not the, the, that this game may be the sequel to that is also on GOG, and I think that game might be like a dollar right now on sale. I might have to check that out. This game was very cheap, too. Like, I don't know, like two, three dollars, so... Okay. There is a monster here, and it is one of those... Um, I'm going to cast Ebsi. See if I have a Skrellington. I... Oh, there it is. The Something happened. The skeleton has not appeared on the screen, so I don't quite know what it's doing. It doesn't seem like I lose stamina when I take damage, which is good to know, because that actually can happen in, um... Uh, that does happen in Wizardry 8. Okay, dead. Still not sure what those blood drops are and why they're separate from experience points, but... Yeah, this chest wasn't here. The monsters must drop chests, just like the old Wizardry games. And uh, I think that's kind of neat that they drop chests like that. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this one. 85, so... Maybe it was a bad idea for me to destroy a backup weapon, because I still don't know if these, um... If weapons break, but uh, hopefully they do not. 
<laughs> you can use, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using the WASDA keys here. And I'm, again, I'm sorry about the constant clicking. I know it bothers some people. I, I just, I can't really do anything about that. I tried playing by putting a pillow over the keyboard, but I just kept accidentally hitting things. I like to look at the key sometimes. Okay, which way did I come from? I don't... Hmm. Does a yellow mean it's more dangerous or less? Because I think the last yellow we fought was slightly less dangerous. I'm going to cast my summon boy. Oh, no I'm not. Okay, well, I'm going to defend then. You know, I think it's probably best to let them come to me. So I don't tire myself out. I'm still trying to determine how I recover spell points. Was that something to do with... I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was... Uh, I think Maybe they mentioned this in character creation. I'm not sure. Oh boy. I am uh, very close to dying, which is not good. Ouch. Oh, I'm poisoned. That must... Wait, what... What does this 23% mean? No, that's the adrenaline. But I think I'm poisoned. I think I lost... Can I flee? Nope. This is just death. Yep, death. Good. Good old-fashioned death. It wouldn't be a... Would it be a dungeon crawl without a lot of death? I mean, uh... Why was it up to me to save the world anyway? Okay, um... 2014-2016, okay. So let's try this one out here. And I don't think I have the necessary materials to craft... Um... It auto save right before the battle, so that's good. I don't think I have the materials I need to uh, to uh, craft any um, antidote stuff. A antibiotics cures infection, cures poisoning. I would need blue herbs, and I don't even remember where I could find those. I cannot make any campfires either, because I do not have any flint, which is not good. Let me see if down here is anything. Oh, there's a red one. Oh, it's locked. Let's see if I can open it. All right. Okay, it's just a level one. That's good. And, ooh, leg armor. That's useful. Let's put Orn some leg armor. Nice. Okay, I'm getting more and more armor. And I am not more encumbered. That's good. Maybe yellow ones are stronger, even though that makes no sense. It should be the green ones that are easy. Yellow or medi are okay difficulty, and red are really strong. But most of the ones I've been seeing are red. Okay. Let's go to town, buddy. And it's the... Uh, of course it's the same guy. Alright, um... I'm gonna defend. As, as soon as I work out the specifics of the combat system, I'm sure that... Oh, that was poison. That had to be poison. I cast my Leafu. Ooh, ow. 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 Even if I win this, I may die, so it's not really much point. Okay, uh, does it say if I'm poisoned? Do not see anything over here. Maybe poison only lasts during combat. Hmm, not sure about that. Okay, I'm going to... Get rid of that, and upgrade my spear to level 2, which is nice. Fine steel sickle, and I would need uh, 300 metal scraps to get that up. Uh, okay, um, I am very close to being dead, and I don't know where I can find more flint, which is not... 
fantastic. Hmm. Maybe they... Maybe if I go back up to the surface, the, all of the natural stuff like flint and branches will have respawned. That's kind of a long shot, but uh, I need more of that. I, I really actually don't even have a lot of wood pieces, to be honest. So, hmm. Okay. Snake meat is the only food you will find in dungeons? Oh, I went the wrong way. Um, maybe I should try to fight this snake. Oh, it's just an automatic kill. Good. I thought it might be dangerous. Was there a... I swear I saw one of those notes. Well, I guess not. No, okay. Um, this was the way I came in, and right is to the dangerous monster. Uh... Trying to remember where I need to go. Gonna have a little bite of fruit before going. It seems dangerous to have this... You know, as, as Heather Mason said, why would I eat something from a, a hell dimension? Uh, but uh, maybe there's still good fruit. There's still good apples and pears and bananas and so forth in the the hellscape. So the hellscape the hellscape is not all that bad, you know. I mean it's just it's a, it's a matter of perspective, like all things, you know. Okay, let's see if that flint is still up here. Or has returned somehow. Because if there's a limited supply of it, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. More fruit. More branches. Good good. That looks like the dangerous arrow. I found 12 shurikens. Okay. Having a weird Japanese element thrust in here does definitely sound um, a little wizardry-ish. <laughs> okay, maybe this is down to the... No, that wasn't it. Maybe I can't get any more flint, and I just have to somehow continue on. I mean, can I... Oh, I, I just hit R to rest. Oh, but I'm not safely resting. I could... and I'm attacked. Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna try to use my magic. He's not taking a huge amount of magic damage, though, but he's taking some good physical damage. Kufu. What? Oh, Kufi. There we go. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Okay, so I was getting confused. I, I can rest anywhere. I just can only safely rest if I have... Um, a fire to rest beside, which is good to know. Gonna get my stamina back. And... Ow. 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 That's death. Okay, well, I, I, I'm glad I know that now. Because I don't need to wander around forever trying to find uh, flint to rest beside. I should just save those for especially dangerous areas. So, 2022, there we go. So now maybe it's safer to rest outside the dungeon, though? Maybe? Possibly? Get some fruit on here, anyway. And those are the shurikens. Uh, I guess I just have to rest again. Because I can't, uh, I'm, I'm gonna die if I... If I don't get this healed. Hide strips to create leather armor, or metal scraps to create metal armor. Okay. 
Um, okay. So maybe it's it is it is reminding me a lot of wizardry because you can click to wake up at any time and stop resting, and that's probably what you're going to have to do if you want to protect yourself from something like this. And you may just want to gradually rest just to get your spell points back and then heal, rather than waiting for yourself to heal completely. Okay. And I think I will cast Light Armor Skill Level Up. Hmm. Okay, then. This is a new monster, Stone Zombie. I really like this design where it's got the stone weights hanging from chains. There's kind of a Hellraiser thing going on here, which I really like. And I will rest. Oh, that was the skeleton. Okay, so the skeleton appears... The summon creature appears on the list there. Okay, um... Koofy? Koofy. No, not enough spell points. Okay, um... I really feel like I should have all of my, uh... No, oh, I should have cooked that meat the last time I was... There we go. I'm fully hydrated now. I'm gonna try to get... I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I may I may just save scum these, these rests. You know, I mean, it's... That is a, a dungeon crawler RPG trope going back... A tradition, I should say, going back many, many years. Many decades now. To save scum, you're, uh... Okay, uh... Rest. Okay. Wait for the spell points to come back. Then cast Koofy. There we go. Okay. Um... Yeah. Alright, so I think I'm good now to go try to fight that... Spider... Okay, well... I guess I'll go back up to the dungeon. Here we go. Okay. This feels like progress. It's at least getting me some, uh, where's my... At least getting me close to the next level. 2400 out of 3000, so that's pretty good. The music I haven't even spoken about is really cool. It has this horror movie vibe. You probably guessed that I really love horror movies and the horror aesthetic in basically every medium. I automatically love it if it's horror. It froze for a second there while I was loading. But uh, the horror... Whoa! 600 HP, jeez. Um, I forgot there was still one left that I didn't go across. Okay, there we go. Going to... Should have, I was focusing directly on the mini-map again, instead of on the, um, what was right in front of me. Okay, now let's try... You know what? Why, why not save? Just, you know, you might as well. I know the auto, there, there's pretty good auto-saves going on here. I don't think it's going to be a big issue if you don't save constantly, but it is something I tend to do in these games. In all games. Okay. Let's try Spider Boy again. Okay. Going to cast, summon a Skrillington, and we'll defend. Okay, so the skeleton can attack. Forward, and I will defend. Wait for the next round. And what was Leafu? Okay. Out of magic for right now. I'm just going to defend for this round. Now these, this spider is really cool. And as you can clearly see, it's a deformed human in the, the back part of the abdomen area there. And in the front, you can see almost little hands on the spider. And uh, it's see there's like a spinal cord connecting the human to the base part of it. It's a very cool design. This whole game is an amazing design. And it was really the aesthetic that drew me to the game in the first place. 
when I was just browsing on Kongs, I immediately stopped and was like, whoa, what the heck is this? This looks really cool. Maybe defense only comes up if the enemy is going to attack next, so I can rest now. But I, it goes to defend, which basically is resting, but also proactively, you know, getting ready for the next attack. I wish this, the uh, skeleton actually appeared on the screen next to you. It would make the game feel a little bit less lonely, but that would probably be a lot harder to program. Okay, so that door way over somewhere is now open. Let me see if I can cast uh, Kufi. Yes, I can. Okay. And actually, I'm going to save. Maybe I'm being paranoid by saving all the time, but <clears throat> whatever. It's kind of annoying. It's a loading screen here, but okay. All right, there we go. Um, let's head down here. And where was that door? Don't remember at all where that door was. And I am just burning food and fuel right now. Hmm. Take a look. This is where I was. What's down here? There we go. That was that gate there. Oh, I like that there's blood droplets down here. That's really cool. And of some more gold. And some shurikens. Some bell scraps. Okay. We are back in the forest. Closer than ever to the barracks, which is nice. And. Hmm. I hope the barracks has friendly people in it. Oh, there's a monster over there. And it's a yellow one, so I should be careful. Okay, got some water. Some red herbs, which is nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to go fight that monster over there and just hope for the best. A oh, quick save is F1, quick load is F8. I'll have to remember that. I'm always bad with remembering about quick save and quick load, and it can get annoying when people are watching me play because... You know, I just always feel like dropping a hard save, you know, just to be extra careful. Okay. I noticed that the yellow monster had a different graphic for it underneath there. Um, it still had a similar, like, faceless creature coming up, but... Uh, anyway, maybe that's a way to distinguish between them. Okay. Um, I'm going to move forward. I did lose stamina when I moved forward there. Um, I'm going to defend. Okay, it looks like the, uh, the skeleton has some sort of... magical, some sort of ranged attack. Most of his attacks are used in getting closer to me, though, so... Oh, he has three in a row, though, and I did not defend. That's not good. Okay, there we go. Attack, 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 defend, skeleton. Good. Attack, defend. There we go. And there we go. Attack, defend. These wolves got a lot of attacks. Jeez, this guy's tough. But my skeleton friend is helping, which is really cool. Yeah, defense comes up. It's rest if you don't have an enemy attacking you the next round. And it's defend if the enemy is going to attack you the next round. There we go. Got him. Nice. And I wish games were even bloodier like this, you know, the, the grim dark, the blood. As Zorak would say on the Brack Show, where's the violence? Where's the blood spray? In games like you know, World of Warcraft. I just I just can't get into it. Okay, there's a monster over there. And I did not see. I think I may want to go over here first. And okay. Uh, I'm going to make a trap and set the trap. And I got some meat. Good. Okay. Can't cook it yet, though, unfortunately, but maybe there's some sort of spell like create food and drink. Okay. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to cast Kufi before going into the battle. I still am not spectacular with hit points here, though. Lilith's Black Moon is a powerful artifact. Now only its shards remain, but they are still strong enough to enchant weapons and armor. I'm eager to know more about the lore of this game. Okay, there's a Mantis. Don't have the ability to really cast anything. I'm just going to defend and hope... I think these guys are, are good for... That magic is good against them, not physical attacks, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, even def when I was defending, he did a hundred and something damage. That's a lot. Ow. Ow. Don't know why my uh, my magic was coming back or exactly the mechanics of that. Maybe I should have paid attention more during uh, character creation. It would have explained it, but... Oh, 3,000. That's uh, a level. Okay, so I guess we have to draw a card and it gives us some sort of special ability plus one mind okay so we get some body some strong and should i go speed hmm mind is sp regeneration which seems really useful i think i'm gonna get some of that i'm not really min maxing here maybe that's a mistake and it's gonna haunt me later but whatever Okay, so, new level, defeated a mantis thing. Let us continue exploring these woods and see if we can find some people to talk to. Okay. Ooh, uh, oh, another chest, nice. Four metal scraps, that's useful. My food is not doing great, though. 15 food. It can cause food poisoning. I'm going to just keep the vegetables for now. Herbs. More metal scraps. Still no flint, though, so I can't cook things. And I think I came from up there. Maybe. Or boots. Let's see if it's better than what I have. Okay, uh, this is armor value 11, weight 26. 11, weight 26. Same. And... And I got some scraps. Good. And there's another enemy up there. I haven't really encountered anything that could be called a boss enemy yet. That's probably for the best at my level and lack of ability with this game. I feel like maybe there'll be a boss before I find the first human beings there. Okay, we are attacking. Ooh, right up close on a bunch of attacks in order. I'm going to cast Squellington for you to help us out. Attack and attack. Attack, attack. I'm gonna wait to defend, I mean. And is that gonna join in, that thing down there? Yes, it is. It's hard to tell exactly when or if I'm gonna regain. Uh... It was hard to tell if that monster was behind them. I don't think I saw it until I engaged, but maybe I just missed it. My skeleton is going to be coming up soon. Good. Um, attack. Skeleton. Ouchies. I wonder if the skeleton, the summons can function as a meat shield too, or if they just attack. Maybe they just do attacks. But if they can be used as meat shields and be, you know, eat, eat some damage that I would otherwise take, that would make them probably more than twice as useful, even even more useful than they already were. Okay, let me check my level. I need 6,000 to level up to the next one. And heavy armors can absorb more damage when you lose more stamina when moving in combat. But do you lose more stamina when you attack in combat? That's 
the big question, because that would be a huge issue. Okay, I have ability to make temporarily increased intellect. I can poison people with my attacks. Uh, hmm. Um. Not enough SP. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to rest. It's a little scary to rest, but I'm gonna have to save and rest. There's no. There's nothing else I can do about it. Molds or ooh, scythes are a weapon. It says here. And that sounds pretty cool. I want to get a scythe. Nothing like being the Grim Reaper. Okay. I was instantly attacked. Within seconds, I was attacked. Okay. This guy doesn't seem super strong, but still, that was a little dangerous. Okay. I'm gonna try resting again. I, I, I barely was in the rest before I had enough to uh, cast Cure Light Wounds, so I might as well just get out of there. There we go. Rest just a little bit more. Feet. There we go. Okay. Let's try this guy. It's another one of the rat creatures. Defend. I love that the organs are bursting out of the stomach there. You see, I swear I didn't see these two things behind here. That means he has two friends that are going to get in the, involved in this and attack. Because that would be really sucky. Okay. Getting a skeleton here. So I don't know if the skeleton summon goes away after you defeat the first guy. It seemed like it did last no. It seemed like it did last time, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm gonna defend. And I don't know, um rest. Attack. No, no, the skeleton is still here. So the skeleton does stay in between um, uh, if some new group attacks in the middle of this. Some new sucker gets involved here. That's not very nice of him. Uh, attack. Ooh. He's not watching my stamina. Gonna have to defend. These rats are pretty good at dodging attacks. Quite a bit of experience there, so that's good. Okay. Gravestone. Hmm. Can't really interact with it anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Maybe if I had a shovel, I could, like, dig something up here, maybe? Maybe. Okay, some more herbs. And torso armor. Okay. My current torso armor is 93, and this one is 80. So, basically the same. Items... 22 gold pieces. Wish I had a place to spend those gold pieces, but here we are. Okay, I'm not even close to the barracks now, unless that place underground was the barracks? Maybe? Maybe. Okay. Ooh, flint. That's how I can get something. There we go. Oh, maybe that's the barracks. But I should be careful here. And of course, we're going to grab a save. Be cool to have a mole or a great axe. That'd be awesome. I think I made my character good with heavy armor. No, I get equal amounts of light and heavy. That probably was not a good min-maxing idea, but oh well. 
I was kind of going back and forth, I guess, between whether I what kind of character I wanted. Indecision. Okay. He's just moving forward. Cast. Ooh. Decent amount of damage. But physical seems to be working a lot better. There we go. Some other same monster. I wonder if it's always the same monster type that you would get there. Like his friends are always backing him up. Wait, what was that? Did it say I was poisoned for a second? Something on here. Hmm, that was strange. I defend. There we go. He's dead. Monster's heart collected. That's good. Okay, another message. The barracks, okay. Are there people here? Actually, it does seem to fit in with Wizardry 6 and 7 if you're always under attack at all moments by enemies rather than having, like, safe areas. So maybe even the supposed safe areas are filled with enemies or something. Got some cloth... Coins. Oh, crap. I was lucky. Actually, I'm gonna... Wait, wait. That's F1, right? To quick save. I gotta get used to that in this game. To quick save. But I do like looking at that loading screen. Okay, game save. 11 gold pieces, nice. More money, and more money. Okay, and I still apparently have one locks, um, lock pick. I wonder if you use up the lock picks, or only maybe only if you fail, you break them or something. Oh no, ow, ow. Ooh, this is a neat trap. Look, the mini-map doesn't work because I'm disoriented. Mini-map is hidden. Rest for some turns to cure it. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without getting... Excuse me. If I can do this without getting an encounter. Maybe I can't. Um, but I need to get some health back anyway and some mana. Oh, there it is. Got it. Gotta keep my eye on the ground. That, that keeps me from staring at the mini-map perpetually. You can destroy the barricades, but watch out. It can be exhausting if you aren't strong enough. I'm pretty strong. Oh. Hydration level is really low. There we go. Okay, I mean, it It worked pretty good. Are there people somewhere? Maybe behind barricades? Pima, magic stone. Magic stone? Creates a stone and throws it to the enemy. Damage and hit amount of throwing weapon skill. Huh. Okay, there's something strong up there. Card for the Deck of Doom. Oh, I think the Deck of Doom must give me extra points of something. Huh, wait. Maybe I use it in my inventory? Is that it? I don't really find a damage right there. Okay. Let's take a look here. Oh, that's annoying the loading screen comes up every time I look at my inventory. That is so irritating. Or look at my character sheet, I mean, not inventory. Hmm. Alright, let's see what... Looks like a tough guy. So, I'm going to get a skeleton friend. And I'm going to cast... Pima? Spell unknown. 
Right? Oh, well, I was saying, yeah. Two left. Not much damage. Fire damage is a lot better. Defend. Maybe this game you can't really specialize in anything, and even though I tried not to get much of the standard elemental or evocation magic, I'm going to have to use it on certain monsters or be cut to pieces. Nearly 200 XP, that's nice. And a bladed weapon, okay. Uh, armory, okay. Barracks, okay. Can't pick this lock, I need the key. Okay, so I'm going to try to find wherever that key is. And then maybe they're in the armory, the people I'm looking for. Okay, let's see here. All right, we got an encounter, rat beast. Uh, it says 250, I can't cast that, okay. I will move forward and defend. This rat guy is glowing yellow. Maybe that means he's extra strong or something. Hmm. Attack. Defend. Attack, 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 attack. Rest. Defend. Okay, he missed that time. Good. I have to get my stamina back up because this is exhausting fighting a rat monster with his viscera pouring out of his nasty skaven knight chest. Now. Maybe all of these demons are really were humans at some point because a lot of them look very humanoid in some way or another. Okay. These rats really dodge attacks. Jeez. There we go. Okay, so I can Koofy, and get some keys, and Koofy again. I'm not sure if the monsters move on the map, or if he's just always going to stay right there. completely screwed that one up because I just, I got uh, confused with it. Okay, okay got another lockpick. So they will, the lockpicks will break if you um, do the wrong input enough times, it looks like. Okay. Blunt weapon. Okay, I don't really need that. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background, but things just being annoying. Okay. I'm going to defend. Not even close enough to attack. Defend. And I don't know where these humans are that I'm supposed to, be, supposed to find. I think I was pretty easy. Took him down pretty fast. Poisonous oil, okay, so I can. Yeah, I get, can uh, add poison to my attack. Uh, there we go. Oop. Darn it, screwed up. 
I think I'm going to try that chest one more time. Okay, let's do this. What? I thought I got that. So that was, I, I swore I got that. Okay, well... Okay, there's a bunch of guys here. Skeleton, defend. Okay, so let's defend here. Wait for them to get a little bit closer. And we actually defended him, but I really wanted to get some damage from the nearest guy. Oh, that might be poison. What is that? Poison, suffer damage every round for four rounds. Yep, that's poison. This is gonna make me. Uh... Okay, there we go, never mind. He's gone, but there are more spiders. Again, sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. He's uh, currently rubbing his face on the microphone, which is not spectacular for me. I think I'm going to have to uh, call it quits pretty soon. I wanted to try to find the uh, humans and maybe end with encountering them for the first time, but apparently it takes a little bit longer to find them, or maybe, you know, we can't ever find them. Maybe, maybe that's like the end of the game where we eventually find them. Or we find out we're the last human left on Earth. I always think those are cool stories, like The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. The Omega Man. There we go, I'm getting some damage finally on this guy. He's still alive. There we go. And we're the third spider, apparently. Oh boy. <clears throat> so, uh, this game has just been really exciting to me and really interesting. I love the look and the feel and the aesthetic of horror really draws me in. I'm a big fan of dungeon crawler RPGs and the old old fashioned wizardry type games of which this is sort of a derivative. It's it's similar in style to those uh, to those games and I'm just having a blast playing it. Uh, I think the mechanics are really interesting. The reason that I love Wizardry 8, I consider it my favorite RPG ever, is the fact that the combat seems endlessly interesting. There's always something... Ooh, my pole weapons go leveled up. That's another wizardry thing from 6, 7, and 8. The, your uh, skills go up by use, like with the Elder Scrolls games. But the reason that I really love um, the wizardry, uh, wizardry 8, I was saying, is that the tactics that you get when playing those games are extraordinary. You uh, are always able to range the battles with a sort of general's eye. And maybe that's why I'm so fond of, ooh, the barracks armor and key. Now that's very interesting. We were just, ow, 661 hit points. Jeez, that's a lot of hit points. Uh, well, I lost my train of thought again. But the reason that I like um, wizardry is because of that tactical style that you get with it. And I think this game is following along with that. I've, over the past maybe six months, I played a couple of JRPGs, and one of them I played was Dragon Quest VIII, which was an extraordinary game. It's great. You know, it's easily one of the best JRPGs ever made. However, having said that, um, it's, the combat ended up being very basic, as in a lot of these games. It's, it gets a little boring and repetitive over time. It's it's a little bit too simplistic for me. And even though I very much enjoyed the game and had a blast playing it, I still was probably... Uh, I don't want to say disappointed with the combat, but I, I just got a little bored with it, is all, after a while. Um, instead of a wizardry-type game, or this game, where it could be endlessly interesting to uh, to play. Now, where the heck was that gate I was looking for? And I love all of these survival elements that are in it. I think that is amazing and always interesting to see. I always want to see more of that. 
Wait, where? Oh, no, no, that was the... Yeah, we... Already tried that. Maybe the barracks was down here? So adding this level of complexity to the game is something that immediately excites me. I always want to see things more complicated. The bigger the better. More stuff going on. Uh, because it increases it increases replay value. It's not you know combat is not just a chore. It can end up looking like a dull, repetitive chore if you make it that way and you're trying to exclusively focus entirely on the uh, the characters and the setting. But I think you should try to do both character setting and interesting combat. It has you always be uh, rewarding to play. Okay, what is that? Ooh, torso armor, heavy armor, and it is armor value 119. My uh, overburden is, is a little bit high, but that's okay. Let me see if I can get rid of some of that fine flail. Steel hatchet. Destroy. Fine steel sickle. Okay, here we go. Still don't have even close enough metal scraps to do that, but that's okay. And what is over here? More leg armor. Maybe that's heavy leg armor. Do I already have heavy leg armor? No, light leg armor. Heavy. Equip. There we go. Light leg armor. Destroy for scraps. Maybe it's better to sell it if there's... I don't even know if there's... An economy in this game or not. Maybe maybe there isn't. But maybe it's better to save and sell that for a merchant or something. Oh, I already got that one. Giving us a lot of stuff. A lot of items all at once, which is pretty cool. Throwing hammers, that's pretty neat. You don't really see that very often. And there's a gateway and a note. Armory. Okay. Are there people here? Maybe? Potentially? There's a lot of open casket, I mean, uh, boxes around here. Pima, magic stone. Oh, wait, no, didn't... Was I already here? Was this where I entered? Armory. Hmm, that's weird. Maybe it was just that small area that I was supposed to go to. Well, whatever is going on, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Please let me know if you've heard of this game. Please tell me if it looks interesting to you. It is often on sale for just a few dollars on GOG, and I'm going to put the link to... Uh, I, don't, I don't remember if it's on Steam, but at least to the, uh, the GOG page in the um, uh, description of this video. And please tell me what you think of this, what it looks like if you're interested in that kind of enriching tactical combat and that complex uh, systems of disease and health and water and hydration and sleep and all of that, like I am. And, uh, you know, just let me know what you think about this. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, thank you very much and have a good night.